Did you know the guy personally who died in that tent a while ago? You know how there was a guy that died in the tent in the winter? So here's the thing. The reason that I'm walking without my shirt through the cities of Halifax is to me that sexual equality is very important. It's showcasing some of the cracks in our societal thinking because some people are calling me a for having a yes. They won't, they don't want me going into public parks and spaces with sure. kids. The police have actually arrested me. Is well, my plan is I'm never going to die. <laughs> I've been planning to be a turtle. <laughs> oh, Smoking cigarettes yesterday. I'm no, a little crazy. Nah, yeah, you're rolling now. <laughs> no, and I'll check yesterday. Well, that a few months. Okay, I'm going to really... walk. Okay, now um, before you do it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk up here and I'm going to take my shirt off face back to you guys. Hardest thing in life you've ever had to deal with. Fuck. Hardest thing in life. It's been very difficult lately because I've been walking through the topless through the cities of streets of Halifax. And people have been very mad at me recently. Even though I've been doing it for three years. That's, well, I'm living in a tent for a year. The winter in the tent was yeah. hard. Oh, Did you know the guy personally who died in that tent a while ago? You know how there was a guy that died in the tent in the winter? Uh, Bradley Lowe. He was my street son. He lived in, um, he lived in Victoria Park with me. Yeah, nice he, fella. <laughs> I called him my leprechaun. He was one of my street kids. He, he lived in a tent right next to me till two days before he died. Are you serious? Do you know that the day before Bradley Lowe died, a man named Adam overdid in, overdid in his tent, in Bradley's tent. The same tent? No, he was actually, the one he lived, Bradley went to Parade Square and never came back. He died in a tent in Parade Square. I was in Victoria Park with them. The day before Bradley Lowe died of an OD of carfentanil in Parade Square, him and I and a bunch of the neighborhood saved a man named Bradley, who, or oh, sorry, Adam, who was overdosing. How did you get over that? Was there anything that you had to do? Were you talking to people? Were you doing anything like that? Because it's a challenging situation. I did a lot of wailing. Yeah. I lived in a tent alone by myself yeah, in the winter, so, so I was wailing a lot. Yeah. I think that probably had a part to do with us getting dragged <laughs> So here's the thing. The reason that I'm walking without my shirt through the cities of Halifax is to me that sexual equality is very important in our society. Mm -hmm. And that if a man can walk unobstructed without, without a shirt on, then I should also be able to do that. And I'm, I'm really showcasing some of the cracks in our societal thinking because some people are calling me a mm -hmm. having a yes. They won't, they don't want me going into public parks and spaces with sure. kids. The police have actually arrested me recently in, on Dutch Village Road. I declared it in the first International Shirtless Day. What day is that? It was like the Wednesday after the Pride Prick. <laughs> okay, so I walked off this, I call it International Shirtless Day. I made it to all the way to Dutch Village Road before the cops arrested me, but they did arrest me for being, being shirtless on my first International Shirtless Day. And I have a question for you, because okay. this is just peaking my memory. Were, were you the woman in Burnside? Was that you and Burnside walking shirtless well, a couple yeah, years that, ago? Yeah, that's where I lived. Uh, oh, me and Tammy did it. Full yes. circle. Wow. Well, yeah, uh, Tammy, I you helped know, You know you're a local celebrity. You know yes, that, Yes, right? I know that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is awesome. A local celebrity. <laughs> Any words? We're with a local celebrity today. Yes. Anything you want to do before you, you de 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 decease from this earth? Is there any goals uh, well, or anything? Well, my plan is I'm never going to die. <laughs> I've been planning to be a turtle. <laughs> Fuck. Wait, we could argue the fact that we're all eternal. What? Well, and that's life the thing. Jesus Christ, right? life Honey, is God Jesus Christ. is a being. And Thank you. Then oh, life is eternal in Jesus Christ. I was reading that today. Okay? And I just found the God recently. Good for you. Good that's for you. Great. I quit God smoking bless. cigarettes that's yesterday. I'm no, a little crazy. Come on. Nah, you're rolling now. <laughs> no, and I'll back yesterday. Well, that was it. Like, after I get released from jail the last time, it wasn't for but if I realized that in order to survive in the tents, yeah. I have to be flawlessly blameless. Yeah. Yes. And even having people come to me and saying, here's some mm. we smoke it with me. Mm. Even that was causing judgment that I can't face because in yeah. order to do this, I need to be flawless. You need to be clean. I need to be clean. Have, so you, I've, have you repented of your sins? Well, I just, uh, to me, they're lessons. That's a very good, I like my, that, they're my lessons. My daddy was a missionary, okay? So my, I grew up in the church, right? And uh, to me, they're not sins, they're lessons of love for yourself. Right on. Can I ask you another question? Yes, please. How, how saturated would you say the drug community is? Would you find a lot of people in those tents are actually consuming a lot of well, drugs? Well, I'll tell you what, the police forces run our business here. They sell the make the This is all our police force that, that supply this to, and it is the currency of the streets of Halifax. It is the mm -hmm. currency. You can buy it's, anything it's you want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Including a life. Including a life can be bought. That's scary, isn't it? And I know this for a fact because I've had my life on the line enough times. Mm -hmm. That's over, the truth of the thing. Isn't that crazy? Not over the drug, just being a homeless chick who lives alone in the tent. Mm -hmm. right? But I need to not have anything of value in my tent. So I've learned because I just had everything I had owned stole from me in Northbrook. Mm -hmm. So I'm now in a very big, I'm Jesus Christing the fuck out of it, okay? Because <laughs> 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 oh, Jesus so Christ. 
was not in a big fancy house or mansion. No, he no, said no. his father had a mansion and he lived with the criminals and the prostitutes. That's awesome. Right. And in the love and the houses of others. And the street. Come on now. Is that fist bump, baby? You are such a treat. Bump. We're looking forward to seeing you in a few months. Okay, I'm going to really... walk. Okay, now um, before you do it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk up here and I'm going to take my shirt off face back to you guys. Can you videotape that? I won't turn around, but I'm going to walk up there and I'm going to walk topless back to Dartmouth. You're going to walk topless back to Dartmouth? I'm going to walk across the bridge, okay. topless, all the way back to so, Dartmouth. So I'm going to wait until I'm way up, I'm up there, but just videotape me walking away. All right, and I'll all take right, your shirt. All right. Okay, you can you, do that with me? Okay, I'm going to listen. Hey, listen. <laughs> <laughs> so Catherine, go, go, Catherine, go. it was nice. Right. Here you go. I'm going to do it right here, but don't, I won't turn around. Yeah! Catherine, it was so nice meeting you. You too, guys. Later. Oh, my days.